Hello YouTube, it's Media Gamer, and today I will be drawing Claptrap from Borderlands. Uh, supposedly this is just a little witty robot character that helps the main character. So to start off Claptrap, we're going to start with a downwards facing uh, trapezoid, I guess. It's not going to be anything too specific to begin with. We're going to extend it a little bit on this side. So pretty much the lower portion of it is very narrow and the top portion of it is very broad. So uh, the first thing, the first real detail I'm going to put in is the eye. That seems to be some sort of lens coming out right from about close to the top. There's the lid that goes over the eye, I guess. I don't know what that's for exactly. Then off of that, we're going to basically make two lines coming down, about evenly on the uh, trapezoid. We're going to stop them about halfway. And quite honestly, I don't know this character by memory. This is like one of the few times I've seen it before. Uh, I'm using a picture from Google Images that someone so kindly got for me. Just use the source picture whenever you're drawing complex characters like these. It'll save you a lot of guessing time. So we're going to work on the eye a bit more. We're going to place the full eye right about in the center here like it's looking at you. We're going to place the rest of it back here somewhere. So now we're what we're going to do is we're going to take a pencil and make another line. Or another circle going right just inside of the first circle we made. Functions as the rest of the lens. That, then back here we got the rest of it. Sort of a brownish color but we're not going to color it just yet. And the rest of this is pretty much black inside. It seems as though uh, just below the eye a little bit we have this stripe going across. It's all faded out. But you can still tell it's there. We're gonna bring it across this side as well. We're not going to do anything to make that look faded just yet. We're going to continue working on the details first. Coming down around his eyes, we have some more detail marks. Something that I kind of just now noticed about this character is that the edges are sort of blunted, or blunt, at the top. We'll start off with a sort of uh, hexagon, half hexagon shape here at the top. Then we're going to bring it down. And this shape does not actually follow the contour of his body. It sort of breaks it a little bit. And we're going to cut that off. Then we're going to create the spot where his front wheel will show up. I guess he only has one wheel, so... Front wheel, side wheel, it's all his wheels. And then this piece here pops out a bit. So we're going to work on it to make it seem like it's three-dimensional in a way. Um, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a edge here. I'm working to connect a line here. That makes it sort of look like it's slanted out. Get rid of this line down here. And we're sort of going to do a little bit of the same thing on the other side. The other side's different. First, we're going to start off with this two lines coming down through the center here. 
These even cut all the way into the top. And we've got a slanted uh, cover coming down here. I guess it's like an arm cover whenever it's not in use. I'm not actually exactly sure how far that should be. But this entire line extends all the way down across his body until a certain point. It just about matches up here. Okay, so we got this plate drawn here. It seems to come out above the arm. Once again, these lines are nothing definite. They're just sort of placeholders to begin with. And we're going to have the same thing coming out on the other side. So that may be a little bit higher than the other one. And his arm's going to be somewhere out here. Not quite sure what I want to do with the arm yet. The other one's going to be down here somewhere. And now, we're going to work on the details on these uh, front plates a little bit more here. On this first one we drew earlier, we've got three lines coming down here. Sort of box it in. And then one more shape here, sort of following the contour of the uh, curved line there. That just makes out that shape. Just like this. That's kind of rough, but. And then in the center of that, we got a rectangle. We're going to come down to this shape here. Draw out the warning sign that I guess every single claptrap has. We're going to start with half a hexagon. Gonna give that another outline. Show the edge of it. Now for this next part, I'm choosing to use a mechanical pencil with a uh, finer tip, 0 .7, 0 0.5 actually. And we're going to be drawing the warning sign, or the warning very carefully. Some block letters. And we've got a circle just above that with an exclamation point in it. And you know, like I said, I'm just trying to get the gist of it. That's probably how I'm going to leave it, but that just adds a little bit more to it. So we're going to continue on, on that note, and draw in a rectangle down here, taking up only about half the space, this portion of the character. Then we're going to have a blue line about in the center here. Not quite sure what that is, but... Uh, it's a blue line across a black background. And over here on this side, we're going to finish up the other uh, spot for the side of the wheel. I guess it's got some arms coming down to hold that in place. Draw the edge again. This one's sort of different, but it at the same time follows about the same uh, principle. Then up here, on the side where his arm is, or will be, we're going to add in another diagonal line coming down like that. And more horizontal lines. This sort of details there. Sort of make it flare out like fence. then the rest of this is probably just going to be solid black. Going to sort of get this line down a bit more. Finalize that. And we're going to start adding some more of those uh, character details I was talking about earlier. First off, we're going to start by really breaking down the uh, stripe coming across the character. It's going to be jagging in all sorts of places. Right now, it's not going to look very uh, complete, but once we get it colored, it'll start looking a lot better. 
You don't have to follow exactly what the uh, source drawing actually looks like. I figure that since this is supposed to be a painted on stripe, that each robot would have their stripes fading off in different ways. That they wouldn't all be exactly the same, because if that was true, that'd be a little weird. So I'm just going with whatever, whatever looks right. Even where the line should be straight, it's still really, really jagged. We're going to clean up a few of these sketch lines in here as much as we possibly can before moving on to the next few steps. So now we're going to work on the arm here, which would happen to be the right arm, I suppose. And we're going to start it off just as a cylinder coming down out of the side here. And then at a fairly sharp angle to that, we're going to draw a circle. And we're going to draw another cylinder coming up out of that. These are just sort of guidelines to help us plan out where we're going to have the hand itself. Draw another uh, cylinder up here. It's a little bit fatter than the last one. Draw a line coming up from that. And then we're going to draw some clamps, I guess. That's what it looks like. But they're once again keeping the uh, trapezoid shape going. Just right over top of each other. We're going to make two of them. You got two wires coming to each one. And then we're going to detail the arm a little bit more than what we just did. Here, from this base here, we're going to keep that. And we're sort of going to add in a pole coming down from the center. And around that, we're going to incorporate some wires into the design. We're going to extend this uh, circle down here. Make it somewhat three-dimensional. Give it a little bit of a joint. And then we're going to thin down this part of the arm here. Cut it off about, let's say about here. Bring it back up into the character itself. I also want to add an object that the character is interacting with. That object's going to be a small gear. So I'm going to draw a gear here. I'm not sure if this character actually interacted with very many objects in the game, but I'm just adding this in just as a point of interest for this drawing. So we're going to work on the other arm now. It's going to be on the opposite side of the body. We're going to draw it about the same way we did the other one. Just a little bit different. Back here, I think this character has an antenna coming up from the back. I'm going to draw that in, and then we're going to do the last part of this character, which is the uh, center tire, which I suppose it's its only method of traveling. It's going to be a little bit tricky, but I'm going to make it as simple as I possibly can. And the uh, build of the tire is sort of rounded as it comes down here. So you want to make it look just like. Coming out of the corner here on this side, you've got a little bit of the uh, axle showing up that actually holds the wheel in place. I'll draw that. There's not much to it there. Spend minimal time on it. Leave that part clear. And now we're going to put a little bit of detail onto the uh, tire treads.
But I'm not quite done yet. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take an ultra fine point sharpie. I'm going to outline all of the lines on my character. For very straight long lines like this, I'm going to use a ruler, 6 inch ruler, so I can get a... just so I can get a very nice line. This process is going to take a while. Alright, and so the next step in this is that I'm going to erase all the pencil that's underneath of the drawing, except for on the warning sign and the stripe here and a couple other places. Alright, so remember all those places that I said was just basically completely black? I'm going to take my darker or uh, fine point sharpie, which is just the standard, and I'm going to darken in all those spots. There's not going to be any shading whatsoever. Okay, so now it's time to color Claptrap. Uh, the coloring on this character is going to be very complex. I think it's going to be really fun, but it's going to take a lot of work. Because we're going to have to do a whole bunch of blending and shading and fading to the colors. Uh, we're going to start off with a nice light base coat of the yellow. Coming across all the body. Except for the very lowest portion down here. Hardly any yellow at the bottom. But pretty much we're just going to lay down a base coat color for all the colors of Claptrap, even though they're all very dull. For your base coat colors, you definitely want to start out light. That way we have a lot of room to do some cool shading. First, we're going to take care of the warning sign. Sharpened up my red colored pencil. Notice how I did not outline this with the Sharpie. I knew that if I did that, I'd actually lose it. So what I did was I just sharpened my red colored pencil. And I'm very carefully outlining all these letters here as best as I can. For the black on the tire, it's not entirely black, so we're going to start off with a gray as our base coat color as well. Allows for even more shading on that portion of it. What we're going to do, we're going to take a blue, make this line down here, as vibrant as we possibly can. Yep. Blend that in a little bit more. Make that streak darker. And then we're going to surround it in black. We're going to fade the black into it a bit. Make sure that you don't lose it. Alright, so I definitely want to get rid of these pencil lines for the uh, paint strips here. Okay, we're going to fix this. We're going to make the yellow and the fades a lot more harsh. That'll be our defining outline. See it sort of fading into the yellow there. Just erase the pencil as you go along. And for the rest of Claptrap's body, we're just going to darken the yellow, this yellow first. Just a little bit more. In the picture I have here, Claptrap's yellow is not a very bright, appealing yellow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of colors to dull this down a bit. I'm going to add in a bronze yellow. Get that sort of rustic tone. You also want to make sure that you're bringing it into the uh, creases you made in the white line. Adding it a little bit to everything else. And then we're going to take a gray to dull it down. And then back here at the bottom, just gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that same gray. We're just gonna color fully. I'm 
I'm gonna blend it into the yellow at the bottom. Just really make that color look like it's faded out a lot. Now, since Claptrap is a three-dimensional uh, robot, we do need to incorporate some shading into the body itself. So to make up for that real quick, what we're going to do is I'm going to say the lighting's up here in the top somewhere in front of him, this direction. So that means this side's going to be lighter, and this side's going to be darker. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take that same gray I just used, and I'm going to color over the entirety of the body shade a little bit darker. This is going to apply for all of that side and all of the sides of the objects on Claptrap. For this object up here, we're going to lighten it a little bit, because it's facing the light even more so than the side here. Same for that one, but not quite to the degree that we did for that last one. And that just adds a little bit more depth to the character. We're going to proceed to add some more uh, textured coloring to the uh, metal parts. Since this side here is sort of slanted facing down, make that a little bit darker. That one's even more darker, because this is the same side as that, pretty much. And that side's going to be very light. Make it uneven. That side's going to be light. This side of the metallic part is going to be very dark. Inside's going to be a little bit lighter. And that top edge there is going to be brighter. We're building up some textures onto these metal plates here as detail. Taking some black, just sort of roughing it up a bit. Just by adding some zigzag lines across it. Makes it look very rough. We're going to do the same for the rest of the metallic gray parts on Claptrap's body. I'm going to add a little bit of brown to these rust stains here. Make them seem more like they're part of Claptrap. Add a red stripe coming down the sides of the eye here. Now we're going to do the shading for the eye, which is going to be the really cool part about it. First we're going to cut it, or coat it, with this nice, uh, simple blue, I guess. It's more of an aqua blue, though. Now we're going to take a darker blue, bring it around the edges, both edges for that matter. We're going to make a very nice circular pattern going across. Making that the point of light. Bring a little bit more blue into that. We want to make this darker then. A little bit more highlight into that. And then we're going to take brown. That's not really a brown, is it? Okay. Well, we're going to take a black then. Do what we've basically been doing with the blue. That just really makes the lens pop out a lot. I like how that looks. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of shading with the uh, exterior piece that goes around it. Then for the rest of this here, it's going to be a blend of several different colors. This is also gonna have some shading to it. I think it has a little bit of orange to it. So I'm just going to throw that in. We're going to use the same black. We're going to blend it into the darkness around it. Coloring on the arms is going to be very similar to what we've been doing this entire time. It's just going to be a little bit more rounded. And the last thing we're going to do to finish up coloring Claptrap is we're going to shade the tire. 
This is going to be a little bit difficult because of how rounded it is. It's basically going to be like the eye on this side of it. Two very dark shadows near the bottom back here. Build up to a little bit lighter than up here. And make it darker in the surrounding part to make it seem like it's underneath. That is all gray back there. Now we're going to add a little bit of black. Blend it in to make it seem even more like it's back there. All the while doing this, we're going to make it seem like it's rounded. It's going to be more gray here. It's roughly colored in like that. And then, got some detail here. Not too much. And here is my finished drawing of Claptrap. Quite honestly, this is one of the most fun drawings I've drawn in a while. It makes me want to keep going for the How to Draw Video Game Characters Set 7 series, which I really need to finish before school starts. But this drawing was amazing. The shading on this was super fun. I hope you guys liked the drawing as much as I did. You guys should subscribe if you liked the drawing, because I plan on doing a lot more characters in the future to come. And also, if you want to send me a request, this itself was a request, but if you want me to... If you want to send me a request, go to my channel, go to the moderator's module, type in your character's name, and whatever other details you'd like me to include, and it just might show up as a tutorial of its own someday. Thank you guys for watching this video, and until next time, keep on drawing. Hey guys, one last thing before I go. If you want to learn more about the techniques and style I use to make this drawing, you should definitely check out the How to Draw Basics tutorial series that I've started. This is going over everything I know about drawing from the very simple stuff to the super complex stuff. Subscribe and you'll start seeing a few new additions to the series, and that's all I've got to say, so thank you guys for all your support. See ya.